Hey guys, this Reddit post about Magic the Gathering cards was uploaded to Legal Advice. And I'm going to read it, and I'm going to read some comments, and then maybe we'll talk about the legal repercussions from a lawyer who has a massive Magic the Gathering collection and always tells you to do buy list. My sister sold Magic cards, now the card shop says they're counterfeit. So my sister decided to sell her MTG cards and the shop quoted her a total of $42,000 USD for the lot. Many were from the 90s and were quite valuable. Now the shop says they determined they were counterfeit and refused to pay or give the cards back. They have yet to provide substantial proof that they were fake. From my understanding, they have no legal grounds to hold the property. Obviously, it would be illegal for my sister to sell potentially fake cards, but we want to have them tested by independent party to the sale. We do have reason to believe they may be real. The card shop just so happened to have listed the same cards for sale on their website after receiving my sister's lot of cards. This could be a coincidence, but something rubs me the wrong way. Any advice would be appreciated. We're going to read more of his comments. He's been responding to it a lot. Yeah, this is def a lesson learned. Their policy is to grade the cards themselves. They were loose cards, but some came from sealed packaging, I believe. It was blindsiding because this shop is a big name in MTG and has a good reputation. However, this policy of refusing to give disputed cards back could easily be abused. I wish I had known to tell her to have them graded independently first. Regardless, we at least want the damn things back. So the reason that I find this a little suspect, right, is because they never mention who the big company is. And at $42,000, there are very few companies that will offer you that much cash. There's very few companies. This, we're not talking about your local game store just has $42,000 on hand. We're talking about the big boys. Star City Games, Card Kingdom, ABU Games, maybe Cool Stuff Inc. $42,000 is a lot of money. So let's just continue to read this the original posters post. So all this is coming from the original poster. This is my concern too. I'm going to find out exactly what kind of documentation my sister has of the cards before they were sent. If she took photos of them, we may be able to prove it if they do send back different cards, fingers crossed. Laugh out loud, yes, I'm capable of this, but I'm hoping that threat of litigation and potential theft charges as the potential dollar amount qualifies as a felony would be enough to get the cards back. So this guy has not retained a lawyer yet, even though it's $42,000. And they're going to make threats of litigation, which I mentioned before to Jeff Wilson, sports card investor. A threat of a litigation is very different from litigation. Litigation can take four years, half a million dollars on a case like this. Uh, he's continuing to respond. They were shipped to the store since we live several states away. Actually, I'm going to click on the user. Um, I think it might be. Look, the, the guy's from Louisiana, so that means it's not Strike Zone Online in Houston because it's several states away. Um, and he's removed things. You know, he's removed things. Uh, I'm hoping they let us do this. If they're really fake, then we don't care if they are damaged. Um, this is very bizarre. I think MTG Finance is going to figure this one out. So I'm going to read his post. Now he's on why did the ACB in Lake Charles fail? It is so bizarre to me because the ACB where I live in Texas does really good crawfish every year. So it looks like the guys from Texas... Uh, North Louisiana. He's either from North Louisiana or Texas. He uh, removed. I'm going to call tomorrow 
and see if they either send us pictures of the fake cards or send us the cards back with a hole punched or something similar in them. We're not interested in doing anything illegal and I've since had some of the photos looked at and confirmed that at least a few are fake. So we are now way less upset. We just want to ensure that all are fake and we can learn how. So he was selling fake cards, guys. The homie was selling fake cards, pretending they were real, pretending he was going to have a lawyer. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, and he got so many upvotes. He has so many up effing upvotes for sure. But so far, we they have not provided this proof to us. What stops them from just claiming their counterfeit and keeping them removed? One card worth less than a dollar was paid for. It came from the same sealed package as cards they are claiming are fake. This is what gives me pause. It's possible that the cards were fake and then resealed to begin with, but I want them in my hands to verify. Oh shit, I didn't even realize that. If we can prove the cards were real, that could be an even bigger problem. Thank you for pointing that out. It was a major seller, which is why I'm inclined to believe they may in fact be fake. I don't think they would risk their reputation like that. He still never listed the seller. So in my experience, when you're dealing with counterfeits and so on, you know it's fake. You know it's fake unless you list the seller because then the seller can give their, then they will be forced to give their version and come out and actually, you know, protect their reputation. Um... They don't have the legal authority to seize counterfeit goods, regardless of what their policies may be. I think it was 80 cards. They said all but one was fake, which they paid less than a dollar for. My sister has sold with them in the past and trusted everything would be fine. I agree more precautions should have been taken. I misunderstood her when she told me about the initial sale. I thought it was 4K. If I had realized it was a 40k, I would have insisted on having them appraised in person. If they are, that's fine. We'll toss them. We're not trying to do anything illegal here. We just want them back to verify ourselves. Yeah, they're fake. These cards are fake. Um, much to do about nothing, right? Man, so he went viral for, uh, I mean, he... Hey, man, congrats, dude. You got lots of uh, Reddit creds if you want, right? You got lots of Reddit karma. You double, tripled your Reddit karma, right? But at the end of the day, man, it was fake. The cards were fake. He admits that they are fake. Um, yeah, he admits they are fake. Um, we're not interested in doing anything. I mean, you shifted $42,000 of fake cards, dude. Yeah. And I've since had some of the photos looked at and confirmed that at least a few are fake. Yikes, man. Yikes.